So I bought these uh, these little son of a bitches at a yard sale one time, and I, you know, I figured they were lock picks, but uh, wasn't until one of you guys sent me a uh, video that I realized that I had a broken key extractor of my very own, even. But I just I just figured it was a uh, it was a uh, you know another. Uh, Another son of a bitch. Woo! Woo! Look what I found. I had one of these, but I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was set of the son of a bitch. And just grab onto that, pulled her out. Let's see, uh, let's see here. Let's see, I owe you guys one. I do, I owe you guys one because I had this the whole time, but what we're dealing with. You can see, like we got shrapnel, eh? We got shrapnel, this key's already bent, so he's pretty rough on the equipment, but, you know, it was just, there's that much was in there, so. But we tried, you know, flathead screwdriver and the other piece of key and everything else, but. Life's got another key. Finally, we were able to fish her out, eh? Look at that, so. Oh, friggin' right, it's Pug Army rules, eh? Thanks for the help, man. I don't know why this thing's still here, but... Huh? Well, what's going on, Ray? Yeah, uh, just, uh, you got... cars here, the other one's Decker, we gotta go get her and for scrap. Right? Yeah, you're gonna scrap, so... scrap the other, uh, yeah. Impala. So that'll be three for the fleet now, okay? Oh, well, look at this. We got, we got Ray's old, uh, uh old plate from, yeah. uh... We're gonna sign that. From Quebec, there. Look at this guy, you're gonna be a star, eh? You're gonna be on the TV. You're gonna be on TV, the TV yeah. soon. Yeah. Look at that. That's my old plate from Quebec there. Uh... Do you beg your pardon? Yeah. You beg your pardon? Yeah, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Okay. Hope you didn't dick her, eh? I we're getting her, buddy. Did you dick her? Oh, she dickered completely. Oh, oh crap. Shot. Yeah, well, got another. Got the ride from Ray back here. Picked her up oh, off the yeah. side of the road for him. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can get the ignition out of this and uh, put it in that. And uh, yeah, so we're building up the fleet again. Yeah, one guy was asking me if the center light was was good on this. So yeah, she looks uh, she looks in fairly good shape. Just uh, some drippy leaders on there, but it ain't cracked and it doesn't look too too cloudy. But uh, yeah, so if you want, we got tail lights, well, we're missing one, but if you want, let me know. Come down and get her. Come out to old Rockneys. Come out to old Rockneys, eh? Uh, hey, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> right I'm sorry. on, yeah, so we're cleaning up scrap metal corner. We're gonna haul this one away and get rid of some of these, uh, some of these vehicles and stuff. Just hoping, uh, Hoping to use the seats out of this in the new A-Team van, but we'll have to see how they fit. But the seats that are in it are just dick, but yeah, so got some projects, got some projects. Are you teaching? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm having a drink. Where'd here. you get that? I had that for quite a while. Foodland. No way. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I need oh, was it too. in your other car? Pardon me? Was it in the car? Yeah, it was. And the founder, eh, you founder. son of a bitch, you had the <laughs> secret stash, did you? I did, I got a secret one. The old lady don't know about it. Oh, don't sure, she her. does now. Don't tell she's her. Gonna, she's gonna know now, buddy. <laughs> yeah, she will, I apologize. Too. Okay, so uh, here's the winch uh, I'm gonna put on the trailer there. Pretty uh, pretty beefy, 8,000 pound self-recovery winch. Got the old son of a bitch there. I've had it for quite a while, just never, uh, never had a use for it, but I'll... Uh, I'll tell you uh, what I'm going to do with it here in a sec. Okay, so that's sort of uh, where the box is going to end up being. Sort of kind of works out perfect. I'll just, you know, put a couple bolts in each corner there. And, uh, you know, the, the center, the stiff rail for the front of the trailer is right along there. So then I'll add another one along the front. And that's where I'll uh, have the winch. And I'll cut a hole at the front there for a little son of a bitch. And uh, then we can just drag shit on here. And it doesn't matter if it runs or not. But yeah, and then we'll uh, just screw two 
two boards, you know, butt it up against there so everything fits good. Run them up the side. We're gonna need uh, new tires, check the brakes, stuff like that. I got a couple couple antlers to weld, but you can see it was, this one was welded, the other one wasn't, but it just wasn't penetrating enough. She cracked off there, but we'll fix that. And uh, friggin' rates. I'll show you the van we're working on out back, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, probably the first victim to get out of here, but uh, we still got to, once we get her up on the trailer, because we're going to leave the middle open, we can get the gas tank and the cats off it and everything. But yeah, so we got the the uh, alternator and uh, all the brake brake booster and all that crap out and the brake pedal and everything, so like, there's the, the brake pedal there, the rest of it's gotten into the shop, but... You know, so it's all, it'll all just bolt right together there. Just got to, you know, and I got this rear end from the S10. So I'm hoping to be able to use it for a project. So, you know, totally home make my own romping friggin' vehicle. But, uh, you know, frig, I might even just, you know, use this friggin' uh, whole rear end. You never know. You know, I want to make something cool. But have to see, uh, see what happens in the next uh, little while here. But... Friggin' rights, man. We got her uh, we got her all loaded up and ready to go. Any parts worth anything? Already off. Maybe we should uh oh, the tail lights are cracked and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, that's what we're up to today. So and then we gotta uh gotta get on this one here soon. So I don't know. If anybody wants to dick around with it and use it for a derby car, let me know. But other than that, she's going for scrap here. So, and then, uh, and then we got these two. We're probably going to take the ignition out of this one because the ignition was dinked in that one. So we'll see if the ignition won't work for that one, and then we can at least drive this one around because there's nothing wrong with it other than uh, than uh, the ignition was dicker day. Eh? So, anyways, yeah, friggin' future out in the rottenness. Oh, friggin' rights, Ray. Thanks for coming today yeah, and giving no, us a hand, eh? No problem. I appreciate it, eh? And, uh, uh, thanks for letting me work with you. Oh, you know, friggin' I, rights, man. I learned a lot today, so uh, I just gotta go get my other car now. The other one, she's kinda dickered, so... Well, we'll I, get her all fixed up for you here, buddy. Friggin' right. rights, eh? But yeah, anyways, we'll buddy, friggin', uh, you're gonna be a star, buddy. And then we cheached. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look here, just banging away here. I got uh, these two pieces here just to uh, sort of hold the outsides of the box and uh, and whatnot. And then I doubled up uh, that guy along there, just uh, along the original frame or whatever. So that should be good and strong because the, the force on it's going to be wanting to pull up on that. But the only, th you know, I might have to cut a bunch of these ribs out and get like, you know, two pieces of friggin' uh, son of a bitch to, you know, because it's, there's going to be that gap in there, air. For even a stack of washers would work, really. But we'll have to see when we get there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's actually coming along so far. For again, uh, yeah. So all the holes, I drilled the holes in there. I just wanted to make sure that they fit. But what I did, eh, is I took this piece of cardboard there and I uh, took my little my little round end of my ball peed hammer there and set it on top of the, the son of a bitch and just tapped tapped where the holes go and then you get a nice uh, template for uh, where your holes are and uh, that makes life a lot easier yeah cheat it okay so that's more or less what we're after we got this son of a bitch mounted in there let's see but uh, I just uh, I gotta grab two bolts from home I don't know why I haven't brought my nuts and bolts bin here yet but it's still at home so Screw to the wall though, it makes it makes it a pain in the cock. But anyways, you know, I'll put a battery, probably maybe set it up there and then I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out if it fits down in there, that'd be that'd be perfect or whatever. But yeah, so for again uh I just gotta cut uh I have a roller thing, I'll probably end up using it because because this is a little bit cheesy, but you know, just I'll end up just cutting a slot like that in the guy and then like in the plastic there. We'll just, uh, you know, get the disc grinder or whatever out and just carve a little notch in the in the plastic there. Maybe put a little flapper or piece of inner tube or something over it to stop the water from just spewing directly in there. But yeah, we're uh, getting under. We still got to weld them two uh, frame antlers. Probably do that just before we leave here. 
She's getting ready to pack up. But yeah, that should work. She friggin' uh, she's only attached with two bolts right now, and it's still it's pretty solid on there. So yeah, put uh, put a bolt in each corner there in the front to hold it down, and then the the uh, center there. You know, they're just uh, you slide these nuts into little passages. I should have showed you before, but if you uh, if you look right there, you can see there's like a little little box, eh? And that son of a bitch accepts accepts that, just slides right in there. So you come up from underneath with the uh, bolt and you stab her in there. So two more bolts in the front, two more in the back, and she'll be good to go. And we can just screw on all the, uh, just gonna do two rows of boards just for the tires. And then we can get underneath it and take gas tanks off and catalytic converters and crap like that. So yeah, should work out all right. I'm gonna get new tires onto it and everything and get the brakes working and whatnot, but yeah. Rig and choo it.